everyone, it's Leanne. Welcome to another video on my channel. Today I have a huge Copic haul to share with you. You may have seen my video last week where I showed how I purchased Copic markers in Japan. I went there recently on vacation and I bought a slew of Copic markers. So this is what I brought home. It's been sitting on my desk for a few days. I returned earlier this week and I haven't opened this yet and I've been waiting to film this video. I'm super excited. So I just want to do a quick haul and show every marker color that I bought when I went. I had a picture of my Copic chart. I'll pull this out here so you can see. I took a picture of this with my cell phone and then I was able to quickly reference at the store what colors I had and what colors I don't. You can see I need a lot. So this should be a nice uh, chunk out of my chart when I'm done coloring it in. So what I want to do is show you the colors that I bought and color in my chart and you can see the swatches of all those colors. I bought 85 markers that came to around 465 Canadian and I saved over $300 by buying them in Japan. So I bought them at Tokyo Hands which is a big uh, department store chain in Japan and not all locations carry every color but some do. I went to the one in Shibuya it had every color it had every type of marker, every color of marker, every refill, every paper type, every accessory, anything you could imagine that you would buy for Copic markers was there. I also picked up, this was 300 yen, which is approximately $3 American. And so I picked this up and it's just a spare um, Copic marker. I don't really have a use for this or I'm not sure what I would use this for yet. Maybe if I had a favorite color and I wanted I don't even know. I, I, you know what? I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know, but I thought it was cool. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to uh, throw it in my kit and have it on hand. Maybe I'll have a reason to use it. I also picked up some extra brush nibs. I find when I'm trying to order these online, it's very confusing because there's different types for all the different markers and you'll think you're grabbing the right one, but it won't be. And I've I've run into that before so this way I was able to look. It says for Copic Sketch and Chow so I knew that these were the right ones and I could see. I've got some um, brush nibs that are getting a little funky and a little frayed so I thought I would replace them with these. Because I was in Japan and they happened to be there I picked up some tweezers. This is just for um, refilling is what I'm going to use these for so I'm going to pull out the nib not these ones but the chisel end and I'm going to use that to refill the markers. It's easier because it opens up the barrel and I can easily squirt in more refill. These were 380 yen, which is approximately $3.80 American. And they were Copic brand. They have a little Copic label um, right here. So I thought, why not? I'm here. I'm just going to get them. And I was in the Copic mood. So let's take a look at all the markers that I got.
So there are all my Copic markers added to my chart. I filled it in quite a bit. I really love these fluorescent colors. They look so pretty. They seem like they don't match the rest of the categories. Obviously, that's why they're over here, but there's some really pretty colors in here that I really like. Um, I did buy a couple duplicates, if you noticed. I picked up uh, an extra BV000, and which I didn't notice was already on my chart, and an E95. I actually went to the Tokyo Hand Store in Kyoto, and I had already bought my haul, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy one more. I'm just going to pick one more marker, and I didn't have my chart um, or the list of what I had bought in Tokyo, and I bought a double. So I actually have a couple doubles. It's okay. And I missed picking up a B000. So I'll have to grab that at Michael's or something. I didn't buy all the colors because we do have um, a certain allowance that we're allowed to bring back with us when we travel out of country. So I had to stay within that or I wanted to stay within that so I didn't have to pay tax on my purchases. Um, but otherwise, I've got a great uh, push ahead on my chart and my cupboard of Copic markers looks so much fuller than it did when I started. One more thing I wanted to mention, I'll take a picture of my chart and put it up on my Instagram page if you'd like to see all of the colors colored in if you want to zoom in and see any of the colors in detail that I have purchased that I've added to my chart. I'll link my Instagram below. I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy huge haul of my Japan trip of buying Copic markers. If you did, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and I really appreciate that if you do. And subscribe if you'd like to be notified as I post more videos. Thank you so much for watching.